Hi guys, welcome back to Edgewit channel. So in this video, we will be seeing the functions of the skeletal system. So we all are familiar with what is a skeletal system. So you can see the functions of skeletal. So what is skeletal system? It is actually the skeletal or the bony hard framework of the body which supports of the structures. This is composed of bones, cartilages and ligaments. So the study of skeleton and bones is known as osteology. So osteology is a part of anatomy. So for our easiest studying, the skeleton is divided into the axial and the appendicular region. The axial skeleton comprises of the bones of skull, vertebral column, ribs and sternum. Whereas the appendiculatus, that is the made up of the limbs, mainly the limb is considered into the appendicular skeleton. So the functions of skeleton. So it gives protection to the vital organs in the thorax, pelvis and skull. Actually, in the thorax, pelvis and skull, we have those bony coverages so that the internal organs in case of thorax, the lens and heart, in case of pelvis, the reproductive organs and the kidney, in case of skull, the brain will be protected from the external environment via a hard covering that is the thorax, pelvis and skull. For thorax, we have the ribs. In case of pelvis, we have the oscoxy and skull, skull bones. It provide attachment to the muscles. So all of our muscles have an insertion point to two bonds or to other two cartilages or tendons. So it provides attachment surface to the muscles. Yes. It is a basic structure for movement. Yes. Without a proper skeletal system, we cannot move. So skeletal system play a very major role in the movement. Now it accommodates blood forming tissue that is bone marrow. Yes. Every hard or long bones consist of bone marrow. Bone marrow consists of erythropoietic cells, that is the precursor of the RBC. And many bone marrow has also got other tissue forming cells and blood forming cells. It is a storehouse of salt and minerals for the future utilization. Bone consists of calcium salts and other minerals, which can be resorbed if at all the body is having their need. Since the components of skeleton have their growth and death, it is a dynamic and linear structure. So, whenever the bone is growing, we can say that it is in the phase of growth or whenever the cells is not growing, we can say that it has attained the maximum growth phase. So, it is the dynamic and living structure in the body. So, whenever we are comparing the bones of a small kid and bones of that of an adult, so it will be very different because of the growth of the bones. Bones also grow. So if you haven't subscribed our channel yet, you have to subscribe and feel free to hit the bell button because you will be getting more medical and veterinary related videos in this channel. So make use of them. Thank you.